Hello again from Serendipity Forge. Uh, it's been a long day. Yesterday I had a good day, got a lot of things done. Today I ran into a few bumps in my knife work. Mm, still made a little progress. Not as much as I wanted to. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I've had someone express some interest in um, how I do acid etching on my blades. Um, I put uh, cattle brands and initials and birth dates, various assorted things on some of my blades. And I do it with ferric chloride. We're gonna run through that process here right quick. And what I have is just a little scrap piece of 1095. I've done a little rough polish on it. Nothing major. That's one thing we've gotta have. Another thing we've got to have is our ferric chloride. And this is what we what's used to uh, bring out the pattern when you make Damascus. Um, it etches the steel. I've got some Q-tips to apply it. And beeswax. And we're going to go right down through the whole process here in a minute. And we'll see how it's done. Hope you enjoy, stick around. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, I've got my little piece of scrap in this C-clamp. Could have used pliers, just about anything, anything to hold it because I'm gonna get this hot. So we're gonna warm our steel. Doesn't have to be too hot. You don't want the wax boiling, you just want it to melt. Put our little piece of beeswax on there. And I just want a thin coat. Now, that's done. Now we've got to wait for this to cool and harden. All right, so our um, Scraps cooled off. You can almost see the wax. Got a good even coating wax on the steel. Not too thick. And we're gonna change angles. So hopefully you can see what's going on a little better. And I'll show you what's next. Okay, so. We've got our least little piece of steel here. We've got our wax resist on. So, and what I always do is I like to use just a regular old number two pencil. Seems to work the best for me. It um, pushes through the wax pretty easy without a lot of grabbing. Uh, doesn't stutter and leave jagged lines too bad. So, let's just put a little something on here just for the fun of it. Trying to carefully get the little flakes of wax back away from the edge of my scribed lines. Not too bad. And this is just a little stylus I made. A while back ago from an old garage door spring. Just mess around a little bit. You see we've got little lines scribed in the wax. Sometimes the most irritating part of this whole process 
is getting the ferric where it needs to be and enough because you want to cover your project but you want to stay on the waxed area Probably do a better job quicker with a little medicine dropper, but I don't have one. So this is just how I always do it. it takes a little while, but it usually works pretty good. Well, that's pretty much it. Now we wait again. Okay, so we got that process done. It's been probably, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. i um, rushing it a little bit. Should wait 20, 25 minutes before I move on, but eh, time is what it is. It's been a long day, and I won't lie about it. I want to be lazy for a few minutes. So... We've got our um, little piece of steel with a little bubble of ferric over the um, lines and letters we inscribed into it. So what I'm going to do is take a paper towel. I don't want to wipe this. just gonna gently dab it up I want to let the um, let the ferric soak into the paper towel and be pulled away from the steel that helps keep from getting steel outside the um, area you have covered with your wax resist that's pretty much it just a hair more all right, good enough for government work, good enough for a demonstration. And you can see what it looks like with the wax still on. Uh, maybe if it'll focus. So, to get the wax off, I just go back and reverse the previous process. I'll just warm the steel up again. <laughs> and wipe the wax off.
And simple as that. We'll let this cool for a minute and we'll see the finished product. Okay, so we'll finish it up. And this is what we come up with. Uh, if this thing will focus, I don't know if it will or not. I'll see if I can put in a steel pick. And if I do, you'll notice that the um, the lines that I scribed in with the number, number two pencil are nice and wide, nice and dark. The, uh, the ones that I put in with the um, little scribe that I made out of the garage door, garage door spring a while back, um, they're really fine. And it's actually harder to get those to etch in well than the thicker lines. But if you're careful, you can make it happen. Are these mostly etched. This would have been a much better etch if I'd waited longer. It would have been a deeper etch if I'd waited longer. And if I were doing this on a customer's blade, I'd probably give it a half hour or so. To, to let the etch set. Uh, so just so there'd be some nice lines and so I could go back and polish the blade without having to worry about rubbing any of the, uh, any of the, um, the, the uh, etching out. But um, anyway, so that's how it's done. That's how I do it. I'm sure there are a thousand ways to do it, but that's how I do it. Um, hope you learned something. Hope I was able to help somebody out there out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button, share the video around. Uh, I'm still pushing for that coveted thousand subscribers. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed night.